An excited buzz hums through the Gravesend quayside. It's the moment they've been waiting for. The moment their loved ones finally return home. A large case lands heavily, narrowly missing the porter. Watch where you're throwing that. The porter weaves in and out of the crowds as the stampede rushes towards the gangplank. The commotion reaches fever pitch as soldiers disembark from the troop ship to meet their friends and family. It's 1858. Husbands, fathers and sons have made the long journey home after fighting to suppress a rebellion in India. The artist, Henry Nelson O'Neill, has chosen not to capture the glory of battle, but a scene demonstrating how the conflict has impacted the lives of ordinary people. An emotional soldier meets his child for the very first time as his proud wife looks on. A couple lovingly hold each other's hand. After years of separation, they are together again. Further down, we see a young rifleman swinging from one of the ship's ropes to proudly show off his Victoria Cross to a Chelsea pensioner, perhaps his father. During the Indian Mutiny, nearly 200 Victoria Crosses were awarded, testament to the intensity of the fighting. The award had only just been introduced by Queen Victoria. Its inclusion in the painting was therefore topical and cleverly tapped into the Victorian public's interest in personal bravery. Whilst many of the soldiers are celebrating with their loved ones, if we look back up, we see a man holding a letter with his arms wrapped around a woman dressed in black. The letter is from his wife, who has died during his time away. In it, she urges him not to grieve, but to focus on looking after their daughter. In the center, a wounded sergeant is helped to shore with his wife carefully watching from behind. At this time, little provision was made for injured soldiers. This piece of art skillfully shows the impact of life in the army, both for the soldiers who served and the loved ones they left behind.